Motion has a tool we can use to help us set and visualize our spring animations. And you'll find that here in the documentation under the React Transitions page. So here what we have is this spring visualizer. And you can see that we can set stiffness, damping, and mass here. And before we look further at this, I just want to point out that right now um, on the physics option, there's also an option for time, and we'll be discussing that soon. But we'll stick to physics for now. And what I want to do first is increase the stiffness all the way to the right, and also reduce the damping all the way to the left. And let's reduce the mass down to the left as well. So with the stiffness set at 2000, we've got a really tight stiff coil. And because we have damping at zero, we have no damping. So this coil just will oscillate indefinitely. And we have a super light mass as well. So all in all, this is going to be a very snappy animation with a lot of oscillations or bounces. And it's just going to carry on and on and on. So the nice thing now is that we can use these settings as a reference and we can come into our code and we can try to replicate that. We can do stiffness of 2000, set our damping at zero and set our mass at 0 0.1. And then we should see our crazy bouncy animation. And I'm gonna stop that because it's not very nice. So if we don't want those oscillations to carry on and on and on like that, we can increase the damping. So that damping is sort of like your external world or the friction in that external world acting upon the spring. So watch here as I increase the damping in the visualizer now, how these oscillations, they kind of fade out or taper out. So here we are at damping of one, damping of two, damping of three. So we still have the same stiffness setting here up front, but it gets clamped down pretty quickly. So let's go back to our code now and we'll change damping to three as we have it in the visualizer. And let's see the difference. So you see how quickly that came to a halt? Now let's ease up on the stiffness a little bit. So let's bring this down to, okay, 1,005. And a little bit less damping. Let's do 1.5. And let's go back to our code. We'll do 1,005 and a damping of 1.5. And we get this. So this is a pretty useful way of how to visualize what these settings are going to do and how they interact with each other. And then we can try tweaking the mass. And remember, this has to do with how the object overcomes inertia. And it kind of depends on the heft of the object, the heaviness or lightness of it. And we can see that reflected here in the visualizer by increasing the mass. So let's go up to, I don't know, let's say 4. And we'll set our code to have a mass of 4 as well. And now we can see that the animation becomes a little bit more lethargic, resembling the oscillations here that we see, and takes a bit longer to really slow down and to stop eventually.